If you already have accuracy and FPR and TPR for your classification model, then why do you still need ROC and AUC? Have you ever thought it? Let's try to understand in detail. So guys, when you want to evaluate a classification model, right? Then all these things are basic things that you see, right? Um, this is known as a confusion matrix, all this story you know, right? TP, FN, FP, TN. And then from these numbers, you uh, kind of get accuracy, true positive rate and false positive rate. I will not go into much detail of this formula. You already know all this, okay? But one important thing to understand here, guys, you want a higher TPR and you want a lower FPR. That part we understand. Accuracy, ideally, you want 100%. Okay, but tell me one thing guys, whenever you plot a confusion matrix, right, then you might be observing that these numbers are fixed. Okay, so in your confusion matrix, every time you uh, plot a confusion matrix, right, you will see these number are fixed. For example, 1, 2, 0, 3, let's say 5, and this is 1, 1, 5. Have you ever given a thought that in a prob probabilistic model, how these numbers are getting fixed? Now, you might be understanding from the hint I'm giving to you that based on some probability threshold, these numbers are fixed, right? So how these numbers come? How do you know which is true positive, which is false positive? You know by setting up a threshold, right? The threshold by default is 0 0.5. So any observation which is above 0 0.5 probability, we call that as one class. Below 0 0.5, we call that as zero class, okay? This is very simple to understand concept. Now, if I make this 0 0.5 as 0 0.4, then all your numbers will change, right? All these numbers will change. Okay, try to digest this guys, then I will go to the main concept. Okay, if the threshold is changed, then your confusion matrix changes. If your confusion matrix changes, then your accuracy changes, your TPR changes and your FPR changes, right? And somebody asks you, hey, give me one metric that can tell me how good your model is if I make any threshold. For example, your metric should not be depending on the threshold. You give me one metric that is independent of threshold. Okay, let's try to understand with a simple example here. Suppose these are the probabilities. Okay, and this is your Y actual and this is your Y predicted. Suppose your, your threshold is 0 0.5. Okay, if your probability is above 0 0.5, you call that one class or you call that zero class. Now, if I ask you from 0 0.5 probability, what is the accuracy of this model? So everything looks fine. One is predicted as one. This one is predicted as one. Below 0 0.5, zero is predicted as zero. Above one is predicted as one. At the moment, I tell you, hey, at probability 0 0.55, I want to make my threshold. So I want to change my threshold from 0 0.5 to 0 0.55. At the moment I do this, this one will be predicted as zero and this prediction will go wrong and your accuracy will come down and all your TPR, FPR will get impacted. To, to find a solution for this, we need a number that can tell me how good is my model through the range of threshold, okay? It is threshold independent measure of you know, assessing your model, you can say, or, or finding how good is your model. Let me quickly show you in Python what I mean by that, okay? Sorry for interruption, guys, but just one request. If you have ever liked any video at Unfold Data Science, after you complete this video, please share this channel in at least one group, be it one WhatsApp group or be it one Telegram group or be it one Facebook group or LinkedIn page. Please do that, guys. So here, guys, if you can see, I am taking a simple SQL learn data set, some logistic regression model metric and ROC AOC score. I am taking something to plot. That plot is an interesting plot. You will see towards the end, okay? And I am doing a classification data generating, logistic regression and fitting, okay? Let me fit this model here. Model is fit. And if you see here, I am saying FPR, TPR and threshold is equal to ROC curve Y pred. So all these three things SQL learn will give you, okay? Threshold also, FPR, TPR also. Now I'm creating a ROC DF, ROC data frame. If you see here, this is my ROC data frame that you are seeing here, okay? This is my ROC data frame. So what this data frame tells you is at this FPR and this TPR, this is the threshold. 
at this FPR and this TPR, this is the threshold. So at the moment you change your threshold, your FPR and TPR starts changing. So all those combinations I have put in this uh, data frame, you can say. And in the bottom, I am plotting that, okay? Don't worry much about what I have written for the plotting code. Just try to understand how this is getting plotted, okay? Now see this guys very carefully. This is an interesting chart here, okay? Uh, threshold, FPR and TPR is this at threshold 0 0.34, your FPR is 0 0.20, 0 0.90. At 0 0.12 FPR and TPR 0 0.87, your threshold is this and so on and so forth. For different threshold, your FPR and TPR is different. Now tomorrow somebody asks you, hey, give me one number. Give me one number that can tell me how good is your model. Just one number. I don't want a lot of story. Give me one number that can tell me how good is your model. So the number you can give is this AUC score. AUC score is never changed based on your threshold or based on whatever your FPR, TPR is. It is at a model level. So at model level, one score, which is threshold independent, give me to tell how good your model is. And that number is nothing but AUC score. That AUC comes from ROC. ROC is a chart between FPR and TPR at different threshold level. Okay, try to understand and digest this concept well, guys. Pretty important concept. People will try to confuse you in the interview. And uh, being a senior and experienced data scientist, these things does not look good if there are some confusions in the basics, okay? So I hope you understood this concept, guys. Why we need AUC? Just one number to tell how good your model is because everything in confusion metrics will change at the moment you tweak your threshold. So I hope you got this point, you got this concept, guys. And I will see you all in the next video, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.